Hello, my name is Tessa Hood and I want to talk to you today about effective on and offline networking. You might ask me, why bother to network? Well, I believe that networking is one of the most essential marketing platforms that you and your business have available to you. And if you think that networking is about a selling forum, think again, it's not. It's about paying it forward. It's not about what you get, but who you can help. And when you help those people through paying it forward, it'll eventually be returned in shed loads. Networking keeps you informed, enables cooperation, creates opportunities, makes contacts and builds strong relationships and associations. Knowledge is power. Being able to access information puts you in a great position. People buy people. That is the basis of all personal branding and the key to all successful and effective networking is because people buy people. And for those who have heard me talk about reputation, it enables you to seriously influence a whole lot of influencers. Are you nervous about walking into a room full of strangers? You don't need to be. There are many ways you can overcome this fear. One of the main comfort factors is to be able to show them a strong brand of your own that stands comfortably, is smiling and welcoming, with a great handshake and good eye contact. Dress well and appropriately for the occasion, and through this, show esteem to the people you'll meet. As you may be aware, almost 40% of your first impression is down to your voice. And if you're able to develop, rehearse and then deliver an introduction to yourself and what you can do for others in a brief, clear, eloquent, concise and unusual way, you'll build relationships and a network that's as powerful as your hard-won qualifications, which is especially important when it comes to employment opportunities. This brief introduction is called an elevator pitch usually taking anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, namely because it was thought to be delivered in the time it takes to move from one floor to another in an elevator, when you're boxed in with someone you've really wanted to meet. What that elevator pitch is about is drawing out the interest of the person who's asked you what you do. Don't tell him what you do. Tell him or her what you can do for them. They don't really care about what you do any more than when they want a 5 millimeter hole in a piece of wood. They only want the hole not the five millimetre drill bit that will make it for them. So give them what they want, what you can do for them. An example of this may be when an accountant is asked what he does. He says, I'm an accountant. Hmm. How much better would it be if he said, I know a way to save you thousands of pounds in tax? Wouldn't that pique your interest a little more? What you really want to achieve is for the person you're talking to to ask another question and so start up a good conversation and hopefully a request for your business card and maybe a follow-up meeting. Don't hand out your business card when you haven't been asked for it. It's a bit pushy and inelegant. Wait to be asked and if they aren't interested in your business then that's fine. You can move on. It is a networking event after all. Online networking is of course a whole subject that makes a separate conversation as it's all the rage with many networks that you can join. Again, make sure that it's the right one for you. For example, LinkedIn is a particularly good network for real-world business and valuable introductions are constantly being made there. Facebook also has a business side to it now, and in the UK, Academy is a great community of entrepreneurs and small to medium-sized businesses. Design your profile pages carefully and always add a professional photograph. People need to see a face to get a good first impression through your expression and then make an emotional connection to you. I find it hard to connect with a profile that has no photograph. I tend not to care about the individual or wonder what he or she's hiding. Make sure you're spending your time at the most effective networks for you. Make them appropriate for your business. Networking is time-consuming, and you need to make sure you're making the most effective use of your time through meeting and communicating with the right people.